Hello YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I just recently completed um, another component mod at Super Nintendo. This time I added a TRS jack to the back for audio. There's the component RCA jacks. Fortunately, unfortunately I couldn't get them perfectly straight. I did it as straight as I possibly could. But it didn't turn out straight, but it's not horrible. I've seen worse. Um, so, let me hook it up. TRS jack with RCA's. Plugs in. Uh, let's see what I got. Uh, the uh, component. There's Luma, it's showing black and white right, right now, let me put it in the color, there. tuck this back over here. And it looks kind of bluish on the camera, so I'm gonna reset it to something that'll look, make it look better. Try to hold this camera straight here. And again, these component mods that I've done recently to these two Super Nintendos, these uh, two component mods, the circuit I found that I've done recently to uh, these two Super Nintendos that I have. It, I swear it looks just like the HD Retro Vision cables. Um, this, uh, this Super Nintendo turned out to have even better colors than the last one. It's a GPM-02 motherboard. It, the other one is a GPM-01. I'll show it to you right here. Here's the other one I did. Uh, it doesn't have the TRS jack. I was originally going to make it TRRS component, but I couldn't figure out the pins on which plug goes into which, so I just covered up the hole. I may redo this um, and do the same thing and put a TRS for audio. Uh, I have to recap it though because it's got wavy video. Uh, the video on his, this one is fine. It's uh, it, Well, it looks kind of wavy on the recording but it's it's perfectly clear I can um I can uh, attest to that um in person it's clear I mean um yeah let me show a demo of this should show sorry for the dirty screen yeah it looks good on the um camera and in person too of course um the camera I mean I'm gonna have to somehow record this somehow uh, through an on-screen or through some kind of recording um, rather than record on phone because each, each Super Nintendo I do it, it just looks the same on on the phone even with the HD retrovision cables I reviewed it looks the same other than the brightness adjustment that I was able to do with them cables so, um, yeah, that, that's it. This is my third completed Super Nintendo. Um, I may not do any more. If, if I do come across any cheap GPM motherboard Super Nintendos again that need fixing up or anything, I may just do some more. But for now, I'm, I'm set. I got, I guess I'll use the other Super Nintendo as a backup, perhaps, or if somebody wants one from me. I'll sell it to them, but yeah, that's that's about it. Almost forgot about showing the inside of it. Well, this is what it looks like. Here's all the wiring. It is some cable management to it. It's not pretty, but it's not awful either. Um, here's the TRS jack for the audio. Uh, I seen online somebody. Put a TRS jack for when they were using a SCART cable 
and there was no audio coming out of their SCART cable and they suggested or they did um, put two resistors so I figured I'd do that and uh, it, it hasn't hurt I mean I haven't really noticed any difference in the audio but it hasn't made it worse so it can't hurt to have these resistors they're, they're both 27 ohm resistors he used 22 ohm but 27 was the lowest I had and uh, yeah it works fine um, as you can see here's the circuit it's very simple the circuit for the um, for the uh, component mod it's just two 100 ohm I mean excuse me two microfarad uh, power caps coming from pins 1 and 24 of the uh, SENC video encoder and one resistor for Luma which is coming from pin 7 of the multi out which is Luma for both composite and S video uh, I put some hot glue I know hot glue is kind of a no no in the modding community but I just wanted to uh, I wanted to reinforce the jacks I didn't want them moving around and eventually coming off or coming loose uh, I did the same with the TRS jack it wasn't the hole I made it it fit in there but it was kind of uh, wobbly uh, so I, I reinforced it with hot glue along with its cables and I also put hot glue over the the uh, channel select switch along with some um, uh, electrical tape just to cover up that hole and you know nothing can get in there no dust no bugs no nothing like that and uh, here's the you can see one of the wire the two wires coming from if you eject this let me see if I'll take this off you can see the one wire connected to pin 24 under the eject button I probably should put some electrical tape under it so yeah this is still a work in progress I can always adjust it whenever whenever I want to um, maybe put some electrical tape to cover up these uh, these um, circ these uh, components and some electrical tape on the board underneath them so it doesn't short out but as it is now I'm happy with it uh, as I said, I could always just go back in and work on it if I need to. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, if there's anybody out there, well, I can't see it now because it's the lids under it. If you get yourself a GPM-01 or a GPM-02, a GPM-02 is even better. This is what this board is. Uh, 1993, 1993 Super Nintendo board, copyright Nintendo, we'll say. And SNS GPM, SNS-GPM-02. Uh, I highly recommend doing this um, this component mod to it if you don't have a set of HD retrovision cables and you have even just the basic skills of uh, soldering uh, you won't have to seek out um, they're pretty expensive while when they're sold out on the HD retrovision cables if you don't have them you can just do this component mod or if you don't have um, a SCART box to component. Yeah, I guess there is other easier ways to get a uh, component out of a Super Nintendo without um, requiring to do something like this. But I like I like to have component straight come out of my Super Nintendo since my HD TV supports it. So it's convenient to just straight up hook it up to the Super Nintendo to the TV. Um, uh, that's enough rambling. So. That's it. That's it for my video.